Hey, this is Samuel from MarvelShowQuest.com and today I'm in Mercer, New Jersey and um, today I'm actually very tired, you know, I, I stayed up late last night, you know, my eyes are all red <laughs> and I feel like I need a nap right now, but, um, you know, I'm still grinding, you know, I gotta still grind. Um, today I'm here to talk about, um, you know, a question that one of my viewers asked, Abdul, if you're up there, shout out to you, Abdul. Um, I know you asked this question about the requirements, um, not the requirement, but um, actually you asked a question about how to find a three-year um, licensed barbershop manager on your shop if you yourself are not um, licensed, you know, and uh, myself, I'm not, I'm not a barber, you know, I'm not licensed, but I am a barbershop owner, and in New Jersey, um, you are required, you could own a barbershop, you just have to find um, a three-year licensed barbershop manager on site and um, you know in order to meet the requirement and uh, fulfill the process i don't know where you are i know i have people from all over the world watch these videos i uh, appreciate you watching my videos and um you know it might be different from state to state and country to country so um definitely cross check with your county and figure out exactly what they require of you in order to open your barbershop uh, but in New Jersey, where, my, where I am, where my barber shop is, um, you definitely need a three-year um, license um, barber shop manager on site, you know, in order to meet the requirement. You know, if you have not been able to do that, the, the, the city will come and torment you. They'll come and harass you. On the extreme end, they will come and shut down your barber shop. You know, and um, you don't want to have that. You know, all the sweat and equity and the time and stuff that you put in. Uh, and have it shut down, you know, because of that. You know, I, um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, because I, I, I was harassed a little bit because I, in the barbershop, I went um, the wrong route. Um, today, if I was to do it again, I'll make sure I find a barbershop manager first before I even sign the lease. You know, um, some of the landlords or landladies out there, they would not give you their store uh, unless you present to them evidence that you have a barbershop manager. You know, and. At a point, at a time, one of the stores I wanted to rent before I got to my recent my recent place, um, they did ask of the barbershop manager, and I and I did think that that was very ridiculous, you know. And um, as of now, I think there is some um, you know importance in that. You know, finding a barbershop manager, that's like the most hard thing, the, the most challenging things you do. In the process the most challenging requirement of the process you know um, because most of the barbershop uh, managers are either um, working for somebody or they have their own shop you know and there's a few of them around but you have to really find you have to really dig to find you know to find somebody you know? so that makes it so challenging and so hard you know so when i started i just opened a shop and then i started looking you know so i got harassed so much from the county you know um, you know kept bugging me you know bugging me and harassing me until i you know i was fortunate enough to find my uh, barbershop manager you know? so uh, basically there's three ways you could go about it um the first and the most important route is through referrals you know that's how i got to find uh, my shop manager you know i asked a friend who knew a friend and then basically i found um a shop manager that way you know it wasn't that easy like how i'm saying it but you have to find you know you have to ask a lot of people you have to be all around the place you know um you know be asked around you know uh, you could go into your contacts if you have facebook you know um you know ask your friends those you are close to you know who they know that have just got here from um, cosmetology school and then contact them they have the license they had it for a while you, you know they could help you out you know stuff like that you know so that's the first way to go about it and um the second route is um through um going to the cosmetology schools you know that is not the best option now they haven't been helpful to me at all i don't know if it's because of how i approach them or you know but basically what i did was i contacted them and then i asked them to give me the list of all the alumni that have graduated within the, the past three years you know so, so if you contact the cosmetology schools ask for all the alumni that have graduated within the past three years and then basically um with that list you could uh, call all of them you know because 
let's say 100 people graduated, chances be that 30% of them are still out there with the license. You know, who knows what they are doing, right? They might be working with it, they might not be doing anything with it. Uh, they might be um, looking for new opportunities. So when you contact the school, um, yeah, also bear in mind when you contact the school, they're going to ask you for uh, to prove yourself that you are actually an employer, you're a business owner. So you have to, you know, prove that to them and then basically, uh, you know, get the list and then you can contact the list. And, um, you know, from there, you, you don't know who you might get, you know, um, you know, and then you call the list. At least 10% of the people uh, might be out there, you can contact them and then you can do something with them. So. That's like the second round, you know, but I, I never had any success from the cosmetology schools, you know, especially if you're a small barbershop, you know, barbershop owner, you know, they, they'll deal with, I'm sure they'll deal with the big brands and, you know, big franchises out there, you know, but if you're a small barbershop owner, you know, they have even much success. I'm not saying do not do it, you know, because you might have a better edge or a new approach into getting into it, but you know, do what you gotta do. You know, that's the second way, the second route to do. Um, the final way is through, um, you know, online and, and through um, social media and stuff like that. So basically, today in this world, most people are going online. They are uploading their resume, asking for jobs online and stuff like that. So basically, if you go online like Craigslist, uh, Monster, I don't know where you are. I don't know where people upload their. Um, resume but um or even talk about wanting a job so all these places that people are talking about having conversation communities people having conversation about having a job you make sure you are there right <laughs> and then um you know you look for stuff you know look for what people are looking for and stuff like that there might be a chance that you find somebody out there too um, i remember um at my time I, I did um go on craigslist and i found somebody that was from um, you know, had uploaded their resume and their phone number, you know, so I did contact them. Um, the only thing was that they were in New York and they couldn't come all the way to New Jersey to work, you know, so we couldn't do anything. But, um, <laughs> but um, the good thing was that um, I, I made contact with them, right? So I was able to make contact and um, as I got made contact, you know, I, I did realize that there are people out there, you know, you just have to be a little bit more, you have to do more, you know, you have to go through a lot, you have to go through, ask different people, be in all these places that you can, all the things that you can do, in order to, um, you know, find somebody, you know, you just find somebody, so, you know, put in the work, you're definitely serious about, about it, and um, you definitely find somebody, like I said, it's not the most easy thing. It's one of the most challenging things that you do as a barbershop owner that is not licensed. Uh, but you know, it could be done, you know, it could be done. So, I definitely hope um, these tips, you know, the strategies helped you out, um, you know, Abdul. And, um, you know, anyone else out there, um, definitely let me know your concerns. Let me know if you uh, had faced that challenge, let me know how you overcame it or other ways that you might have used to. Um, kind of solve that problem and find a barbershop manager for your shop um, and how you went about doing it. Um, definitely leave your comments below. I'll answer them. Um, it could hit me up. You know, if you just have to be to chat over random stuff, you know, any questions that you have, um, I'll be here to, you know, answer your questions for you guys. Um, make sure you like, go on Facebook, you know, like our page, um, leave a comment on page, Facebook. We are on Twitter, um, Instagram, all the social media and um make sure finally make sure you subscribe below because um that's the only way you're gonna get all my videos when um they do come out you know and um i wish you all the best i wish you success again this is sam from barbershopquest.com and until next time